Welcome to the course. First and foremost, thank you for choosing Flow Plus and me, Lewis Wing, as your continuous improvement trainer. Throughout the course, I'll do my best to teach you the most important lean concepts and provide you with real insight into continuous improvement. Not just giving you information, but providing practical changes that you can start making. Before we start learning about the concepts, the theories and the technical tools, it's vitally important to understand what lean is and how it relates to continuous improvement. As you go throughout the course, I'm sure you'll have friends, family and colleagues asking you what the course is and what lean is all about, so it's important to get the definition right. By the end of this training module, you'll know the simple definition of lean, what the difference between being effective and efficient is, what are the three ingredients of lean, required for it to succeed and an understanding of a lean strategy and any misconceptions around lean. So let's start. In its most simplistic terms, lean is about doing more with less. More customer value, flexibility and customer focus with less time, resource and energy. Lean is about working in a more effective and more efficient way. Effective means doing the right things, while efficient means doing things right. Let me explain. Effectiveness is about heading in the right direction in line with your objectives and goals, and efficiency is about working in the most resourceful and smartest way possible. A good way of remembering the difference is to think of a swimming race. You may swim really efficiently with a technique that is great at converting energy into forward motion, but still not win the race if you are not effective and travelling in the most direct route towards your goal, the finish line. On the other hand, you may be really effective but not very efficient, where you head straight towards the finish line in the most direct path but are not very efficient at getting there, and again, you won't win the race. Just like this swimming race, organisations race to become more streamlined and ultimately more profitable. The lean approach and strategy is to become effective first and then become more efficient. So what does this mean in practice? It means lean companies start by becoming effective and aligning their goals with what the customer wants, providing the customer with the most value possible at the lowest price, the highest quality and delivered as quickly as possible. Once they have become effective and know where their finish line is, they can start to work on becoming efficient and use the least resource possible to get there. This means reducing waste and working in a lean way, perfectly aligned towards their goals, working in a smart, resource clever way. The reason that effectiveness comes first is because understanding the customer and aligning with what they want should always be the first step of an organisation on their lean journey. There is no point becoming efficient at producing things that nobody wants. So lean is about being effective and efficient. True lean companies realise that becoming lean is not a one-off project. You can never say, we have done lean or we are lean. Lean is a never-ending journey towards perfection, perfectly effective, aligned to your business goals, and perfectly efficient. Lean is not a cutting strategy and does not stand for less employees are needed, which a student in my training session recently said, which I found rather amusing. Lean is about learning, evolving, and never stopping. And by the end of the course, I'm sure you'll better appreciate that and think back to this module and how true that really is. Lean requires three things to survive. One, maximising customer value. Two, identifying and reducing waste. And three, involving people. Maximising customer value is the first of the three ingredients needed for lean to survive and the most important. It's all about focusing on the customer and maximising the value we can provide to them. That is why lean is a growth enabling strategy and not a cutting strategy. 
because it focuses on the customer. How do we maximize customer value? We do it by identifying and reducing waste, internal waste to the company. We'll learn a lot more about this very soon and how we reduce waste. We do that by involving people. So the three ingredients are linked. The full definition of lean, and one that I always explain to people, is that lean is a growth enabling strategy that maximizes customer value by identifying and reducing waste through the involvement of people. An important thing to distinguish is that lean isn't a strategy as such. Lean is an approach that helps you achieve your business strategic aims. Going back to basics and forgetting all the complex definitions, a strategy is what game am I playing and how am I going to win it? This involves analyzing the industry, the market segment you're going after, your USP and core competency as a business, what your competitors are doing, SWOT analysis and things like that. Lean is not a business strategy. Lean is a growth enabling strategy that helps you achieve your business strategy by improving quality, delivery and service level to your customers and also by reducing cost. So please remember that. Lean isn't a strategy as such, it's a growth enabling strategy. So let's summarize what we have learned. The simple definition of lean is doing more with less. More customer value, flexibility and customer focus with less resources, energy, space, etc. Lean companies become effective first and then efficient. Effectiveness ensures they're doing the right things that maximize customer value and efficiency is doing things right, i.e. in the most resource efficient way. The three aspects needed for lean to survive are maximizing customer value, identifying and reducing waste and involving people. Lean is not a strategy or a cost cutting exercise. It is a growth enabling strategy that helps you achieve your business strategy. Lean is not a one-off project, it is an ongoing journey to perfection. And finally, lean doesn't stand for less employees are needed. I know that learning these definitions isn't the most exciting part of the course, but it helps build your foundation of knowledge and understanding that we will be building upon throughout the rest of the course. Thanks again, see you in the next module.